All right, let's say we are live. So, damn, I blanked out for a second. <laughs> I'm like, we are live, and then my brain just decided to malfunction. But whoever sees this after the fact, hope you're doing well. Hope your Saturday night's doing well. Uh, not too much happened with me. Just was busy doing some requests today. Working on a video game that someone requested. Super Mario Sunshine. So that'll be the next video game playthrough. That's thanks to a guy named James, who's very nice and generous. And after that, other requests for movies and, and other stuff. So turn them out. Still to this day, got upload maybe three late tonight before I head to bed. And, uh, yeah, don't know really what's going on in the news. Not much going on movie news wise. At least I can think of. If there's a whole lot going on with the news, I don't know about it. This just started, yeah, about a minute and a half ago, Derek. Yeah, about a minute and a half ago. Yeah, it's our impromptu stream. Didn't really plan out, but I'm like, you know what? Even if it's just for an hour, do a stream, why not? Hey, Silver Wings, how you doing, man? Attention fan, hope you're doing well. <laughs> but uh, yeah hey there Mark I'm doing fine just work on another request which is uh, playing Super Mario Sunshine which I remember in a stream you said you weren't a big fan of I'd never played a game to game or Wii game in my life uh, I'm enjoying this so far but uh, I've never played a 3D video uh, Mario game before, so maybe that's part of the appeal. But I'm enjoying it so far. Play for about four or so hours. I'm I don't know how far I am with it, but <laughs> see, I never played Mario sixty four, so uh, that's the thing. That's the thing. I I never owned a super. I owned a Nintendo sixty four like five minutes. But at the time, I was heavily into PlayStation, and someone else wanted that system more. So I'm like, okay, yeah, you could have it. Because, I mean, I had PlayStation and stuff, and I didn't have much games for it. So, um, But yeah, this is the first 3D Mario game I played. So maybe that's that different perspective is where I'm coming from. Because I never played in Mario 64. I never played the other the other games. The yeah, Mario 64 never played. 3D World? Which one is that? Or are you talking about just in general? Yeah, Capone is a very weird movie, but I did like it. Very strange, very trippy, but that's what I liked about it. Ah, okay, I never owned a Switch. Ah, upcoming strategy guide collection video. Very cool. Very cool. I look forward to that. But yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it, but like I said, it's my first 3D Mario game, so... Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about the others, though. I don't mind the, the water hose thing once I get used to it. A RoboCop N64 game? Well, there was for Xbox and European PlayStation 2. So you can always... I guess you always get the Xbox game if you really want that. <laughs> How are you doing, Chaz? How's it going? 
Scratch Burno, hello there. Hope you're doing well. How's you? How are you doing? Saw you on the Dead Pit Discord. I think it was you. Were you guys talking about conventions and stuff? Uh, never heard of that guy. Movie, TV show, video game. Never heard of him. Hello there, Matt. Hey, Matt. This is Matt. How's it going, Matt? Matt. Hey there, Alex. Yeah, it's pretty late. Well, most of my streams are laid back. KOTM, what's up to you too? Vicente Guerrero, hello there. How are you doing? Hey, Randy. Ranos. So I'm not sure if I pronounced it right, so I'll stick with Randy. How's it going, Randy? The Crow trailer? Yeah, it sucked. But, I mean, did you really expect anything different? They just make the same film over and over and over again. So what's the point? Oh, that's cool, Alice. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Daryl Powell, good evening to you too. <clears throat> yeah, there's no topic. It's just laying back and seeing what the happens with the chat. Nah, I didn't play the Nintendo Robocop game. Never played that one. Uh, Randy, I reviewed Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I reviewed it. <laughs> uh, Justin, the new Robocop game looks cool, but I don't have a PlayStation 5, so I ain't playing it. Hey there, Kamen Rider. Uh, 4K is the end of physical media. May very well be. I mean, I'm sure with anything in marketing, they'll try to do an 8K. I would not be surprised. Okay, see, so yeah, I never played the NES RoboCop game. Never played it. So you own that game, or is that a game you rented back in the day? My favorite George Chris models, Rambo 2. Yeah, I know there's a sequel to Blood and Honey, not that I care. Thank you, Derek. Hey, Manny Catillo, how you doing it? How you doing it? How are you doing? Are you doing it? <laughs> Rob Roy, nah, I haven't reviewed Rob Roy. Rented back in the day, oh, cool. Very cool. Uh, I play Roll Covers Terminator and Super Nintendo. I remember liking it. I remember enjoying it. Doesn't have the violence on the Genesis one, but I remember liking the music and certain sections that are not in the Genesis one. Like when you get to the future and there's a kind of a turret section where you're driving a vehicle from to get to the base and you see a POV and you're shooting at Terminators. That's not in the Genesis one, but that's in the Super Nintendo one. Yeah, I played the Starface video game. I have it. Uh, I enjoyed it. Do I have it here? I think I have it. it. Might be over there. Yeah, it might be over there. But yeah, I have the year. Hey there, Sean. Uh, I did a playthrough of one of the Sonic games on the channel, Randy. Hey, Fadi, I'm doing okay. How are you doing? There was a sequel to Scarface game where Tony Montana went to Vegas, but the game got canceled because the studio shut down. Yeah. Well, you always play the, the original Scarface PS2 game. It still acts as a sequel to the movie. 
which I think that was the most interesting bit about it. I liked the game. Fairly much, uh, pretty much like Grand Theft Auto. But yeah, I enjoyed the Scarface game. St. Patrick's Day, okay. I don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I've heard of Assassin's Creed, never played it. The Shining, yeah, that's my favorite Stanley Kubrick film, I agree. Yeah, that's my favorite. Aragorn Skywalker, hello there. I'm Iger Kathleen. Well. Ah, cool. Footage of the sequel of the Scarface team. That's cool. I'll have to check that out. Daryl Powell, why would I care about a new Strangers movie? Bob Iyer, I don't give a crap about him. <laughs> One Shamrock Shake so far. Well, that's more. Than me, I've had zero. I've never had a shamrock shake. What is, is it like mint? Is that what it is? Like it just minty? I've never had one. Oh, uh, hey, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, the Phantom Menace for PS1. Yeah, there's some ups and downs to that game. Late Night with the Devil. I haven't seen it. I've heard of it. I've seen the trailer to it, but I haven't seen the film. I think the last film I saw for request was Dream Scenario with Nicolas Cage. Which was okay. It's not what I expected, so it's disappointing, but it's okay. Very bittersweet movie. Uh, I don't know enough about the 96 version of Team Colin to give an opinion, Justin. Alex, that's cool you picked those up. That's cool. Yep, I've seen Shrek. Might have reviewed it, Randy. But yes, I've seen it. It is mint. Okay, yeah, I figured. But yeah, never had it. Rock and Roller, never seen it. Barbarians on Blu-ray, didn't see that one. Well, thank you, Justin. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sean. Uh, Chaz, yeah, I don't... I don't give a crap about that movie. I didn't like the previous one, so I don't really care about any new Godzilla Kong movies. The last Godzilla film I liked was Minus One, but the American ones, not for me. Shrek? <laughs> nah, I haven't seen that. I remember Matt Shrek from Batman Returns. Christopher Walken played him. Yep, Randy, I do think the 1990 miniseries is better. I said in my rant on the 2017 It film. Hey, Randy, feel free to watch some of my videos. I think everyone you've asked is like, I did a video on that. <laughs> well, Jason Statham, I enjoy more because of the action star, but I think Clive Owen's a better actor. MMA fighter, hello there. Hope you're doing well. Feature the new Godzilla? I don't know. The new Godzilla Kong movie? I don't know. Do you wish tracks with Shadow Stevens could release it on Blu ray? I mean, it would be better than some of the stuff they are releasing. <laughs> then, uh, what the hell is. Half the stuff to release and no one's ever heard of. At least that would be a fun B movie to release. Rufus, hello there. 
favorite horror movies of 2023. I don't even remember what films came out in 2023. <laughs> yeah, ooh, Navy SEALs, just like Clerks. Yep, just like Clerks. Ooh, Navy SEALs. I'm not buying a 4K of Navy SEALs, especially for $44, but even if it was like 20 bucks, I wouldn't buy it because I don't hate the film, but I don't need a 4K of Navy SEALs. I can name 10 action films that deserve a 4K before Navy SEALs. I can name 30 action movies that deserve a 4K before Navy SEALs. Does Demolition Man even have a 4K? But we got a 4K of Navy SEALs. Movie High Club, uh, I reviewed Night Swim. And no, I was not a fan of it. <laughs> but I reviewed that film. Hmm. Well, Sean, I mean, who knows, baby? Someone will request them again. Who knows? Well, that's cool, Ryan. I don't think anyone was asking you if you've seen Night Swim, but uh, thanks for the info. <laughs> Do you like Night Swim? Well, Teach their own. I thought it was shit, but teach their own, man. I thought it was shit. Boring and nothing happens. Uh, I there, there might be Godzilla games on there. I didn't really check, Matt. <clears throat> there might be. <clears throat> ah, yes, it was a very, very old video MMA fighter. That's from a long way back. Thanks for that. I, <laughs> that's a hell of a nostalgia memory. Movie High Club, I reviewed Tales of the Crypt Demon Knight, which I enjoyed. I reviewed that. No, Justin W., there is... It's, it came out this year. The Swimming Pool is Haunted. Stars Wyatt Russell, Kurt Russell's son. I tell you now, big fan of the Strangers film series. Nope. They all. Nope, I'm not. First film sucks. These new films don't care. Very 80 slasher. Slasher movie? Or are you talking about a villain? Freddy Lit, hello there. Sorry that I sent you the refund, man, but I'm like, I can't. You know, it's a mini series. That's a long, long movie. I'm sorry, man. Just can't do it right now. Hey, Will Ferrell, number one. Amityville Horror, but with the swimming pool, that's pretty much what it was. Never watched Prison Break. Favorite 80s slasher villain, Freddy Krueger. Favorite 80s slasher film, Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. Number no street for the Dream Master. <clears throat> I open one of these. Let's see. Haunted. I would read the comment, but the heart is in the way because this heart that's in the chat, everybody loves it because it's so useful. I don't think there's one time anyone's ever used that damn heart thing. It gets in the way, in the way and you can't read the comments. Which is great. I love it. That no one asked for. Get rid of the stuff that people ask for and give people stuff that they don't ask for. Jesus. 
Melyel should give you royalties. I wish. <laughs> Do you think the 1980 film Shocker will get a sequel? No. Does no one remembers that film or knows what it is? <laughs> I love it, but it doesn't need a sequel anyway. So, no. <laughs> They only remake popular movies. <laughs> the most useless Captain Planet power. Well, if it's the Don Cheeto Captain Planet, maybe useful for him. <laughs> for those who watch Funny or Die, look up the Don Cheeto Captain Planet. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it would not be amazing. 19s baby back to be most random stupid thing. I would not it would not be maybe so random and stupid. Just like why? Why is he here? Yeah, removing direct messages and but yeah. That's definitely some stupid things YouTube has done. I agree with that. Definitely agree with that. Do I believe the Dark Knight is the best Batman film ever? No, I don't. Have you heard people say Shocker is cheesy? Yes, many times. I enjoy the film. Panhead versus Freddy Krueger in a fight who would win? I don't care <laughs> who wins. <laughs> I wouldn't care. Ask who Kyle. Hello there. My favorite Batman movie is Batman 89 and the Batman from a couple years ago. Our self-defense thought it sucked. Have you seen the films being covered in tomorrow's hit exploitation stream? Honestly, no. <laughs> How are you doing, Phantasma? How are you doing, man? No, I haven't seen them. <laughs> I'm like, man, why you choose those movies? <laughs> why not choose, you know, Snake Eater, Southern Comfort, and I don't know, Rolling Vengeance? I mean, come on. You had a revenge movie done with monster trucks. Yeah, I've never seen Gator Bait. I've seen Master Bait, especially in the mirror, but I've never seen Gator Bait. But yeah, Selling Truffer I do enjoy quite a bit. But... I've seen the remake of Walking Tall with The Rock. But, I mean, the original Walking Tall, I know the story. But I just, just seen the remake. Hey, JoJo. But, I mean, yeah, I watch Rolling Vengeance, you know. You don't grab the Southern Comfort 4K. Uh, not for 40 some 50 bucks, but I would like to. I'm tired of these movies being so expensive, so if I don't get it, I don't get it. Oh, well. I would like to get it because I enjoy the film, but it's on Amazon as well. But yeah, I'm not paying that much money for it. The original Walking Tall is interesting. That's cool. Wait until either their summer sale or Black Friday. It will be half off. We'll see. Yes, Walt Hill did do Southern Comfort. Hey there, Bobby. The suit and the Return of Swamp thing looks better than the first one. That is true. It's one of the good pauses about it.
Uh, Randy, I reviewed the two Sonic movies. Yeah, I remember David Blaine. You can find his stuff on YouTube doing magic on the streets. You can find it on YouTube. Let's see. No, Justin, I thought the kids sucked ass in Invaders from Mars remake. It sucked ass. Randy, every question you asked is a movie that I have literally reviewed, man. Just Randy Ruiz, just look on my channel and type up the movie. Because every film you've asked about, I have already reviewed, man. I understand. I mean, you guys have actual lives. It's no reason to you know watch every day of my channel, but just just for future reference, just go to my channel and just type up the movie. Because like everything you're asking, I've I've reviewed. So yes, I've seen the new Mario Bros. film. I reviewed it. The way the kid runs and invades from Mars is hilarious. We have lives, of course you do. No, nah, Randy, nothing to be sorry about. It's not a big deal. It's not like oh my god, how do no? It's just. Just letting you know, just for future reference. Just in case if you have any questions when I'm not on the stream. If you're wondering if I've seen this or that, for future reference, you can always just go to channel and there's the magnifying glass. Just type in the name of the movie. But yeah, the kid in Vegas for more sucks. Would you like to play the game Dusk? I don't know what's it for. Like I don't know anything about it. What play? What I? I know nothing about it. Alex, I barely remember the Dirty Dancing soundtrack, other than Time of My Life. Movie High Club, same with you, man. Uh, like everything you ask, I've I've reviewed it. Feel free to check it out on the channel. I reviewed the Snyder's Cut. Fuck that movie. It sucks. Curse Scott Atkins film, probably Ninja Shadow of a Tear. Dust is on PS4. Well, again, is there a physical? You have to download it. Batman Part 2 got delayed. Yep. Not surprised. With all that's going on with Warner Brothers, not surprised. Just how it goes. I mean, with the way Warner Brothers is and the new DC Universe from James Gunn, not surprised. Favorite movie with Alice Winter and Keanu Reeves in it? Well, so you mean my favorite Bill and Ted movie? <laughs> so the it'd be the first Bill and Ted. Uh, yes, the modded PS3 does have the Siphon Filter games on it. I know it has those. Yeah, that modded PS3 it does have the the Siphon Filter games. Hello there, Bainty. Hello there, Julie Evans. Uh, no, I didn't see Walter the Dairy trailer. It's not a movie. It's a show. It's not a movie. It's a show. Like Stranger Things. Love Sound L2 is one of my favorites. Have it on PlayStation 2. They are making a movie out of it. Called Return to Silent Hill. Hey, Preminator. But we're just leaning back and just chatting, seeing what happens, seeing what goes on here. You heard someone on YouTube defending Serbian film? Good for him. Hey, me. Rob Zombie Chick, hello there.
Hi there, Eric MacArthur. Share your film based on a video game, Mortal Kombat 95. Dust does have a physical release, but it's probably easier or cheaper to get the digital. Well, I mean, I have a bunch of other stuff I need to get to paid request-wise. Those come first. I don't give a rat's ass about a Halloween TV series. I don't know why anyone would. Josh, uh, someone about five minutes ago already mentioned the Batman sequel delay thing. Do you ever cry about a new Roadhouse movie? Was wrong with Warner Bros? The whole DC regime changed up by James Dunn. Cancel a lot of the old stuff, doing a new Superman, all that jazz. I don't care about a new Roadhouse film. Why would I? Fuck it. Look forward to 2025 movies. I don't even look forward to year year movies. Why do I give a shit about movies of next year? J. Paul and Mike Tyson. Tyson, easily. Hope Tyson rips his fucking head off and shits down his throat. My favorite Arnold film, Predator. Final Station film, too many. You only need the first two. Last Ronin, no, I will not give a shit about the movie. If they make it cool, because it was successful, then you get more serious movies. But I, I don't care about the story, though. Yeah, I know Bowser Miller. Fuck him. You can go to hell. Justin, I don't know. Probably got rid of it because I don't know. Probably got blocked or something. Fair old school wrestler. Bret Hart's a good one. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Macho Man Randy Savage, Brett the Headman Hart, those are some. Hey there, Block World. Uh, how about none of them? <laughs> how about none of them? We'll be the best. How about none of them? <laughs> okay, if I have to pick, I guess Axel Foley because the trailer wasn't garbage. Unlike the other two. Well, Frozen Empire was looks like garbage. Raisin Hill, hello there. The Crow, yeah, it looks like the emo femboy. Don't give a fuck. Looks like a Dutch douchebag emo femboy. A little gun. Nah, they did not call Beetlejuice Ghost Hawaiian. There is no Hawaii. At least as far as I know. My favorite black and white movie? Probably Clerks. My favorite Stallone film? Rambo 2. Yeah, I read the Death of Superman comic. I have the omnibus up there. That's the Death and Return of Superman. Uh, Justin, yeah, it does. I've only played, really, I've only played GTA 3. That's really the only one I've played. Deadpool Wolverine didn't see the trailer, so don't have any interest in it right now. Do I have a second favorite team calling after Star Island? The original from the 30s.
uh, Death of Return of Superman and Super Nintendo game. I haven't played that in years, so I don't know. Don't know my feelings on it. I haven't played that in a few decades. My favorite poster ever? I don't know. That's tough. Love this Aliens poster. Uh, Rambo 2 poster. Friday 30 Part 7 New Blood poster. Did I see a trailer for Civil War? I don't give a shit about that movie. Don't give a fuck. I saw that movie called Red Dawn. Have you read the deceased comments? Nope. Never played Vice City. I love the Punisher on Nintendo. I wish it had more music, because there's barely any music, but I really like that game. The Punisher and yes, I think it's underrated. People shit on it. But I think it's a fun one. It could be repetitive. I wish there was a soundtrack, but yeah, the punch for Nintendo for mindless fun, it's fun. <laughs> mindless fun is fun, no shit, but I liked it as mindless fun. Channel O'Brien, it's okay. Buying buying the damn I don't need it on Blu-ray. It's okay. It's all right. Yep, I do love the post for Hard Target. Yep, that's another one. The uh, Bye Bye Man is worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember the saxophone guy. I, I never wanted to shoot him. Because when I shot him at first, it was so depressing. He just crumples. Boo, 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 boo. I, I felt so bad. I'm like, nope, never again. I don't want to shoot Ray Charles. I always thought it was like Ray Charles. I'm like, I don't want to shoot Ray Charles. Don't shoot Ray Charles. Plus, you get punished for it, too. I think you lose health. I was like, don't shoot Ray Charles. Let him keep playing. Uh, I've seen Pink Floyd's The Wall. I liked it. Operation Wolf never played it. But Ray Charles didn't see that coming. <laughs> that reminds me of the documentary I saw on the song We Are the World. Uh, what is it? The Greatest Night in Pop, I think it's called. And they tell the story about how when they're doing the recording, I think it was like Ray Charles led. <sighs> oh, who was it? Uh... It was like the it was the blind leading the blind. It was absolutely hilarious. Uh, oh, I cannot believe I cannot remember his damn name. The other blind guy. How the hell do I not remember his name? Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Like Stevie Wonder. Yeah, one of them needed to use the bathroom, so the other went, "I'll take you." And everybody was laughing. And it's like, wow, it's the blind leading the blind. <laughs> One literally was leading the other to the bathroom during it. <laughs> but yeah, that's an interesting documentary, The Greatest Night in Pop. Prince was supposed to be on there, but he no-showed, so Huey Lewis got the part. Uh, they talk about, you know, the guy who sang the Deuce of Hazard theme left in the middle of it. <laughs> Steve wonders faking his blindness. I don't know. That's, I think that's a bit of a reach. Because it'd be such a great story. To all of a sudden go, oh my God, somehow my, my vision has gotten better. And he would get a resurgence in like money, fame, attention. That'd be a hell of a story just to go in the, that direction if that's the case. So just reading the comments, post the chat back and forth. Nothing wrong with that.
Worst sequels? Howling 7. That's a pretty bad sequel. I mean, the stuff I said multiple, multiple times, movie guy. I've said like multiple times. Alien 3. Yeah, that's stuff I say all the time. Rufus, I would choose Aliens. Cole, I would choose Jeepers Creepers 3. That's the worst one. Steel Wonder made his bones. I don't even know what that means, made his bones. Oh yeah, the that was Lucas. Who you, you mean the where he drew the entire movie Tremors do? He put my voice in it. Yeah, uh, that was Lucas. Very, very cool that he did that. Very nice of him to do that. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was really cool. Paying your dues, okay. I never heard that before. Made his bones. Oh, uh, Lucas, he did something where he drew out a good chunk of Tremors 2. And he asked me to record lines from the movie. And he added, like, as if I starred in Tremors 2 and the, the sidekick part to Fred Ward. And uh, I suck at it, but it was fun what he did. Just the fact he drew pictures like it was a storyboard. And for like, what was it, 40, 50 minutes? 30, it was like 40, 45 minutes. As if I was the star of Tremors 2. So that was really cool. That was really nice of him. That was a take a lot of time. And he wanted to do it. I'm sorry my voice acting sucked because I'm not a voice actor, but that was pretty cool. So he like all these still pictures they drew of the the movie. So that was pretty cool. A lot of you put a lot of work into it. No, nah, I did, but I could be honest about it. Well, Sally, I have no memories of being Fred Ward, Justin W. So. I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, Lucas is a nice guy. Which DC movies just hear the worst? I don't know. I don't know about consider the worst. Hey there, Jesse. Hope you're doing well. Nah, no behind the scenes. <laughs> Cole, I would choose Aliens. Movie Guy, I would choose Nostalgia Critic. Uh, I never saw The Dark Backward. I've heard of it, though, but I never saw it. In my fan cop and a half. Not really. It's not the worst movie ever, but I'm not Roger Ebert, who's the, the only guy to give a glowing review of it. I've seen much worse movies, but I don't know. Maybe it's a time waster. Maybe it's a time waster at that. See much better, see much worse. Alex, I would choose Cobra. Uh, I didn't see Body Slam, but No Holds Barred sucked. Death Carries a Cane, never even heard of it. Hey, John, hope you're doing well, man. I'm doing okay. Just sit back, look at the chat, see what happens next.
I have agree with Roger Ebert quite a few times. He gave a thumbs up to the Golden Child on Cisco and Eber. He gave a thumbs up to Leviathan on Cisco and Eber. He gave a thumbs up to, I think, Rambo 2. He gave a thumbs up to that. Uh, so, I mean, he definitely loves George Romero's Dawn of the Dead. He gave a thumbs up to Titan AE. So there's been quite a few of his I've agreed with. Best of the best. I like the first three. The fourth one, not so much. Second is my favorite. Yeah, Crash Banner Crew was a lot of fun. Gunman, I enjoy. That's a fun one. That deserves a, a Blu-ray. Deserves more than Navy SEALs getting a 4K. I think Gunman deserves a Blu-ray more. Same with a lot of other movies. Equilibrium, Christian Bale. Let's get that a 4K. Equilibrium, Christian Bale. Give that a 4K. Or Perfect Weapon, Just Beeping. Or Daily Outbreak. Get that on Blu-ray. Toy Soldiers or Sean Astin. Tons of others I could think of. If Looks to Kill have a 4K Take Your Beverly Hills. Uh, tons of other action films I pick over Navy Seals. Nope, have none of those magazines, Alex. Solo, not a fan of. I thought it was very mediocre, very forgettable. Freight wasn't a fan of it. That was too stupid. Sean Aston voiced Raph in the 2012 cartoon. Yeah, and he sucked ass at it. Hated his Raphael in that cartoon. Hated his Raphael. He's a piece of shit. Not Sean Aston, but that Raph is a piece of shit. He's a pussy. That Raph is a fucking pussy. Pussy ass. Pussification Raphael star with that fucking show. Raph's a pussy in that show. Fuck him. Not again, not Sean Astin. I'm talking about the character. Portrayed in that. No, I'm not getting a gold edition of Resident Evil 4. I got the remake already, and I don't need the DLCs. I don't care about the DLCs. Which lady cater would you take to the prom with? I I don't really care about the prom. Take to a motel and fuck, maybe, but not to don't give a shit about a prom. Perfect murder. I thought it was forgettable. JT, I'm doing okay. Fuck Stream 7. Don't give a shit about Stream 7. Do not give a fuck about Stream 7. The last one I cared about was Stream 3, and that was back in 2000. 99 2000. Yeah, around 99 2000, one of those years. Favorite DC comic book of all time? I don't have a, a number one favorite. My fellow Americans, yeah, it's fun for what it is. Jack Lemon, yeah, I like it. Favorite anime film? I, I, I don't know what my favorite anime film would be. Yeah, Road Games is a classic. I always enjoy that one. Glad you liked it, Justin. Didn't always enjoy that movie. Pretty much take rear window, but put in a moving vehicle and set it in Australia. I don't give a shit about the new Friday 13th show coming out. Should not have been made. I think it'll be dog shit. I don't give a fuck about Mrs. Voorhees that much to watch a whole show about her. This Madam Web, your worst movie 2024 so far? I don't know. I haven't seen that many 2024 films, I guess. Favorite season of Simpsons? I don't have a favorite season. 
I liked a lot of the early season, but I don't have a favorite season. Never played Mad Max video game. Wake and Fright? Nah, I've never heard of that one. Never heard of it. They shouldn't do a Halloween series. I know. But they're doing that. They're doing a Friday 13th series. What's next? The fucking Wishmaster series? Favorite 2003 Ninja Turtle season? I'll go with season one. Yeah, the Shell Factory. Yeah, I have that. I still haven't checked through a lot of it yet because just been busy with life. Do you believe that aliens have ever visited the Earth? I don't care if they have. As long as they leave me the fuck alone, I don't care, really. Unless it's a female alien and she wants to fuck, then I'll care. As long as she don't, she don't have the herpes simplex 10, or my dick doesn't rot off. Yes, yeah, Foot Stream 6 and Foot Stream 7. Uh, I mean, there is a 2003 Ninja Turtle DVD set on Amazon. It's not great, though. I, that's why I didn't buy it. Is there HD of it? I mean, apparently, streaming, what was it, Paramount Plus or somewhere? Apparently it was streaming on there at one point. But a physical release of HD? No. Unless you find it on YouTube. YouTube probably be your best bet to find it, honestly. And just watch it on YouTube. Or download it off of YouTube. Then see Hustle and Flow. Not sure it'd be my kind of movie. It'll be that vampire zombie alien from Life Force that visits. I'll be down for that. I may die, but I'll die with a smile on my face. Because <laughs> you've seen how she looks. You die with a smile on your face, too. <laughs> I'd be down for that. Hey, Darmel Spider. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, whip that trick on your dick. Stream can reference my balls into its mouth. Fuck the stream series. You only needed the first three. Hey, frame by frame. Hope you're doing well. I've seen all of her. Nothing left to the imagination. There's always, there's always a lot to left to the imagination. How warm, how wet, and how juicy. Is it a pump or a fizz or is it a relief? It is. The only GTA game I played is three. No, I don't like stream two, but you had to do that to get to stream three, which is why I said that. I like stream one. I like stream three. That's it. I do not like the Transformer movies. The Mummy 1932 is boring as shit. I like The Invisible Man, I like Dracula, I like Frankenstein, but I do not like The Mummy, it's boring as shit. Everything, ever, all at once, yeah, I liked it. Not sure on the ending, but I liked the film. Teaching Mrs. Tindo, I don't remember a thing about that. Frame by frame says, you don't request salt burn to Fabio. Oh, I'm sure he'll enjoy that. <laughs> he'll love that movie. <laughs> uh, good luck with that. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm glad you watched the God of War videos. Uh, Real Kingpin. Yeah, that kid sucked. He's a twerp. He's a little dickhead. 
I didn't watch much Hammer horror films, although I do like Horror of Dracula. I I just wait till it streams. Fuck the movie theaters. Either you got babies crying, you got women talking, you got men talking. People won't shut the fuck up. They think it's a goddamn concert when it's a goddamn movie you're supposed to be watching. You got to sell your house to buy popcorn. You got to pray to not die on the drive up there because people don't know how to drive for shit. And then babies are crying. You want to keep them through a field goal while they're on fire. So... That sounds cool, real team pin. You might guess. It's on the modded PS3. She said the song was all right. I'm not going to the movies, Alex, and I do watch it at home. Oh, whoa. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, Hopium. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Will you consider Rob Zombie one of the worst directors ever? He's up there for me. I don't like a single film he's made. I would say he's a worse writer than director. Because if you look at some of his shots in terms of lighting, like House of a Thousand Corpses, although maybe more credit goes to the DP, the cinematographer. Uh, but his writing is atrocious. But yeah, I mean, if you look at like the Monsters movie, if you look at 31, those were terribly directed. I agree with that. So uh, maybe overrated directors. He probably would. I mean, for consistent level of shit, he probably would be in my top 10 worst directors. I would say that. Not the worst. Neil Brain still exists. But top 10 worst directors, I would put Rob Zombie in there, yeah. Because I'm not really a fan of his movies. His Halloween remake was trash. Halloween 2 was trash. 31 was trash. The Monsters is his worst film. So yeah, I would say definitely in the top 10. By far. Uh, Justin, I did not know that. Program this, I disagree. I really like Quentin Tarantino. He'd probably be in my 10 best directors list. Hey there, Sloan. How so? The courses wasn't that great. They'll bring it's a fucktard. He makes fucktarded movies. Tarantino's writing is pretty good. Uh, I don't know about ranking, but he's pretty damn good. Frontest Old Dawn, he helped write the script for that. That's true. Old Fiction, yeah. Great stuff. Frontest Old Dawn, directed by Robert Rodriguez, when it was worth the shit. <clears throat> Why does Hollywood keep rehashing slasher icons? Because they make money. Like, why they always do? Because they make money. The new Halloween films made a ton of money. I mean, they, they did. That's just the thing. They, they made money. Tarantino, like, produced Hostel, as in, like, I put my name on it. Pretty much, I put my name on it. Now give me a check. Last year, Robert, Robert Rodriguez film, Planet Terror. Jack Craven, probably busy with life. 
Oh, thank you, Premier. I appreciate it, man. That's really kind of you, man. Our top three favorite roles of Bill Paxton. Hudson from Aliens. Easily is my number one. Damn over, man. Damn over. What the fuck we gonna do now? What we gonna do? This little girl's been here longer with no weapons and no training. Why don't you put her in charge? Yeah, Bishop could go. Why don't you go, man? So definitely Hudson from Aliens. I wish he had lived. He should have lived. So number one is definitely that. Number two is Terror and Twister. Uh, I love Twister. Uh, I love that movie. I love his character in it. Actually, there was a, another Bill. There was an evil Bill, and I killed him. He was standing there butt-ass naked. I was not naked. He butt-ass naked. He threw the bottle, and... See? Talk about Twister. See, there you go. I mentioned Twister, and the streamer decided to twist the whole thing like a tornado. Apparently, Twister is the, the stream yard. Made my thing a Twister. There you go. So uh, I stopped saying Twister before it twists again. So number two, Twister. Fuck the new one. Hey, Danny Dandada. So one, his role in Aliens. Two, his role in, in Twister. And three... I do like frailty. Predator 2. Predator 2. His role in Predator 2. The Lone Ranger. Luck is my specialty. You know, this guy, yeah, I talked to this cop and he wanted a semen stool sample. And I said, hey, can I just leave my underwear? <laughs> Jerry Dan, what, oh, what was his name? Jerry, the Lone Ranger. So yeah, his role in Aliens, Hudson, his role in Twister, and his role in Predator Two. Those are my top three. So, thank you, Premier. I appreciate that, man. Bill Paxton was in the first Terminator. That's true. He got thrown back, and Brian Thompson, who was the bad guy in Cobra, he. So Arnold punched him and went through his, his stomach, his chest. That was Brian Thompson, the villain in Stallone's Cobra. He was also more common annihilation. Yep, Bill Passon did have a role in Commando. He was the guy looking at the monitors when they're looking on the radar in one brief scene. I think it's when Ray Don Chan and Arnold are traveling to the island. I didn't see that Tales of the Crypt one. Uh, Dark Metal Spider, I mean, feel free. Ah, yeah, yeah, from Twister, yeah. Didn't love that film. That's why we don't need a sequel. Yeah, I already know about the, the rust, the armor, all that stuff. The jail found guilty, as they should. Thank you, Opium. I really do appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for your kindness, man. I watched Barbarian the other day, and I agree with you. Very overrated. Try hard, not creepy. Why does the street become dilapidated? I don't know. Uh... Barbarian, for those who don't remember, that was the one where this lady stops at an Airbnb and Bill Skarsgård, the new crow, he's in there. They're sharing it. And then the lady does some stupid things, goes down the basement, and there's a cave system, miles and miles of cave system somehow. This one guy dug it all up, apparently. And there's some lady feeding her titty milk to people. Amber Heard. 
she's down there, and they don't fight Amber Heard. So, yeah, it's, uh, some decent bits of the music. The first twenty some minutes wasn't bad, and they just went went into complete stupidity. Complete stupidity. And then Justin Lawn. I think there's a lot more they could have done with that character to make it more interesting. But they just made it very one-dimensionally slimy. But if they made him like a three-dimensional character and make it interesting where, yeah, he's done a lot of bad things, but, you know, make him a human being and I don't know. What do I know? It's like men are bad. The new trof- trailer sucks. Uh, nope, never met that director, Alex. Yeah, I know Cameron Ryder. Didn't see Bill, I didn't see the Training Day TV show. Season five episode of Tales of the Crypt. Okay, I didn't I didn't watch much of Tales of the Crypt, so I'm I'm not that familiar with the show. I like Demon Knight the movie. Uh, Teach the own premiere. I think that film sucks. But hey there, Deary Blow, and hey there Was it someone else? Wesley. Hey there, Wesley. Hope you're doing well, Wesley. Sorry I missed you. Take care, Rapper Kirby. Have a good night. Uh, I like most of the seasons of House, except I have issues with the last season. Certain characters disappear. I think it was a mistake. Uh, the last episode eh, wasn't my favorite. I don't remember Demon Wind. Don't remember the film. Kevin Gage. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know who Kevin Gage is. Why would I want Expendables 4? Weren't the sequ- other sequels bad enough? Have you seen Expendables 4? <laughs> Eric, I would say Mew Mayhem is worse. Ninja Turtles 3 has a lot of bad things, but it doesn't have people puking and other bullshit. Splinter making out with a damn roach. Not of this earth, never heard of it. I don't even know which is worse, but Kai Harris. Probably Halloween Ends is worse. I don't know, Ryan DT. I don't know. All those films can suck it. Suck it. Spin on them. Fuck them. Yeah, like I said, I don't give a shit about Stream 7. I don't give a shit about Alien Romulus. Tom Ryder, I don't give a fuck about Al Bowen. I wouldn't do nothing other than ask him to pay me and get the hell on my face. Give a shit about Al Bowen. He didn't do anything to me. He's just an idiot. An idiot who's going to get punished. He was, a, he, he was an idiot 
that did a very stupid thing and someone died. He's just an idiot. Favorite team and team movie, the 1990 film. Sorry, I'm being silent. I'm just reading the, the questions. I'm just reading the comments, I should say. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, Trevor. I don't care about the Al Bowen thing. I, I don't, I really give zero shits about it, to be perfectly honest. He's an idiot. He's going to get what's, you know. He's an idiot. There's really not much else to say about it. Well, Eric MacArthur, fuck those people. Tell them to suck your dick. Final Fantasy uh, played the seventh one decades ago. I'm not really good at RPGs. Tops? No, I never play with tops. Hey, Mr. D Man. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Well, there you go. Do you have a fuck what Ari Aster does unless it's file for retirement? Then I'll care. If he files for retirement, then I'll care. If he's making a movie, I'm avoiding it like the plague. Shit ass director. Nah, I didn't see his review for Taryn. Kid Slayer, Ninja Turtles, Secret of the Years gets hate because it looked as too kid friendly and too silly. Who's the worst director in Hollywood? Most of them. Fantasy Star 4, never played it. Give a fuck what Bo is afraid of, as long as he gets on my face. Never play Star Tropics. Makai Harris, I don't know. I mean, nothing of that Halloween ends made sense. So you're speaking to the choir. I don't know. I didn't make the fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mind the menu movie. Yeah, I didn't mind the menu. Brazy, uh, I would choose Max Payne. I don't know what my top 10 were superhero films list. I don't know. Super Mario RPG never played it. Fuck every Leprechaun movie. Uh, I honestly don't remember the film Mute, honestly. Uh, I don't remember what the hell, what movie that was.
I don't remember the film. Miracle Warriors, never heard of it. Max Payne or Alan Wake video games. I mean, they're two completely different genres. One's action, one's horror. Great with action in it. Yeah, I can imagine that, Bobby. I don't give a shit about Seth Rogen. You know, fuck the new Crow film. Who gives a shit about that new Crow film? Who cares? Who gives a rat's ass about it? <clears throat> That's if we're supposed to be surprised. That's the thing, like, are people really that surprised? There's a new Kroll film and it looks like crap? I'm so surprised. It's like, yep, this is what we thought. Fritz and Deeds, it was okay. I reviewed a couple episodes, it was okay. I would never watch it again, but it was okay. The only skateboarding game I played was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Yeah, that's the only troll movie I liked. Yes, the original. The lawn shot, that movie sucked. Very boring, very forgettable film. That movie sucked. Yeah, Steam back in WCW when he was fighting the NWO. Yeah, that was inspired by the crow, that look. Gleam the Cube by Greed. Where's the Blu ray of that movie? Fuck IGN. They're, it, they're dumbasses. What they said about Resident Evil 5? Yeah, they're idiots. Power on Star? I have no idea what that is. Don't know what that is. Watch Bojo? I don't watch their stuff. Yeah, I remember the days, early days of YouTube. I was there. I remember. It's a TV show. Well, again, Mr. Crazy Nightmare, I've never heard of it before. So, don't know anything about it. Sorry about that. General, it depends on the movie, man, about the stop footage thing. 
Like Silent Night Deadly Night 2, the, at least the stuff that wasn't stock footage was at least funny. And I had to just watch that instead of watching the first film. So it just depends. But if it's an absolutely terrible movie and then they have stock footage from a better movie, then yeah, it's pain in the ass. Yeah, I mean, IGN said a lot of things, but yeah, they said it was racist. Which the thing is, I'm not even a fan of Resident Evil 5. Well, I don't even like the game. But it's not racist. And if you think it's racist, then you're a fucking idiot. Hey, right on target. But yeah, I don't like Resident Evil 5, the game. But it's not racist. And if you think it's racist, you're a fucktard. You're a fucking idiot. I mean, the game takes place in Africa. What's it supposed to be made of? Asians? Where do all these hundreds of Asians come from in Africa? Who's that? Who else is supposed to be in Africa? A bunch of white people? <laughs> the white Africans? The albino Africans? I guess that was the problem. I need the albino Africans. Well, some dumbs, they look like they're from a tribe. Kiss, there are tribes in Africa, you fuck face. You don't think there's tribes in Africa? <laughs> you think that's made up? That's a myth? Dry land is not a myth. Neither are tribes. They're not a myth. And what did you want them to wear? Khakis? Because you know all those tribes that wear khakis and the wife beater t-shirts like Bruce Willis and Die Hard. That's what it should have been. Just a bunch of you know, the wife beater shirts and the khakis. Guess that, maybe that's have them all dressed as that. Have a hundred Asians in Africa in khakis and wife beater white shirts. There you go. <laughs> they wanted a bunch of those asshole foley's from that Berry Hills Cop game is what they wanted there's a TikTok girl who says the earth and sky are not real well and there's a there's a she. Who gives a shit what some cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs girl says? She probably will forget to breathe tomorrow. Good fuck Disney. Uh, Brazy, I'm fine with the multicolor mass. Uh, Ryan, I'm with. I'm more of an Ernest P. World fan. Like I said I don't even like Resident Evil Five, but again, that video was stupid. You ever seen Reptilian Shapeshifter? Not today. Only the one in my pants, but not today. Fuck the new Ghostbusters. Do you believe that ghosts are real? I haven't met one. Well, I don't. I rarely use Twitter. I never use TikTok, so I'm fine. 
I never once used TikTok, and I rarely go on Twitter. So I guess I'm out. When you become independent president, you know, I don't think that makes any sense, but good luck with that. Libercast, bonsoir, bonsoir to you as well. Remember MySpace? Yeah, another thing I never used. I remember it, I just never used it. There you go. If you heard that burp, that's why I think of MySpace, something I never used. Parasite Eve, never played it. Stop, I do remember Stop. You still quite a bit back in the day. And Titta, I never used. Third party president. Mm. Well, uh, good luck. Good luck. If you saw a ghost right now, would you believe it? I'm sure, I believe it. Nope, nothing yet. Um, Premiere, I just did the, the testing video and then that video on Robocop 2 for Mike, OCP, on the European Play S2, just those. Unless I get any requests in the future for more. Cole, I don't use TikTok and I rarely use Twitter, so how would I know which is worse? I don't use them. Hey, these things you don't use, which is worse? I don't know because I don't use them. So how would I know? Oh, yeah. I guess a, a funny thing is I was looking at the news. Don't ask me why. And the, the funniest thing about, okay, is anyone in the chat here in Texas? Or am I the only one here that's in Texas? Am I the only one here that's in Texas? I thought this was pretty funny. It was on the news, <laughs> believe it or not. So, okay, Stretch Berno, you're in Texas. No, how about the people who are in Texas? You guys just say something. Okay, so I guess Stretch Berno, you're the only one in Texas, other, other than me. So, the funny thing was on the news, apparently, Pornhub have blocked the access for people in Texas because some age verification thing in Texas. So, of course, now people are bad because they can't get on Pornhub in Texas because Pornhub said, nope, it's not going to anybody in Texas. And this is on the news. I thought that was pretty funny. So, Texas is pornhub -less. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. That that would be on the news. Pornhub has disavowed any allow. Al have you ever tried? Of course, I'm a guy. I'm not going to get more details because I'm not like Jay Real. Well, some people might not know who that is, but you know, of course, I'm a guy. I look at various stuff, but since everybody here is a guy, or pretty much, I don't think people want to hear about that. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, no, nah, not really. You're not my cup of tea. Just not for me. Not the kind of stream I want to see. <laughs> yeah, J Real. It, but is J Real in Texas, though? If he's not in Texas, then he's fine. See, if J Real, I, mean, I feel like who's J? Uh, it's a it's a dead pit uh, form thing. Well, I say form, but you know, it's a little inside Joe thing. <laughs> He is? Well, poor Jay Real. Poor Jay. Yeah. You gotta f find more piss jugs. <laughs> but uh, I just thought it was funny that this you know, gets on the news. And, uh, oh well. But, yeah, I just thought it was pretty funny. Poor J Real. Poor J. <laughs> Is Jay re really in Texas? Uh oh, man, he must be sad. Anyway. Different topic. Uh, Bobby, R-rated films are not the same, man. Just saying. If you think R-rated films are the same, got to learn a bit, a couple things. Just saying. Young men sit next to me. You know, now I feel like the guy in the airplane. You watch Gladiators. <laughs> Son, you watch Gladiators. Uh, I don't know what that is, Crossbones. But Derek Roberts, I think the idea is that if it starts with that, then it could be various other sites that do it because of the whole age verification thing. Red Rocket? Nope. Never seen them. So, someone who thinks the earth is flat is a fucking idiot. And there is no end. They're just an idiot. Just a fucking idiot. That's all it is. If you think the earth is flat, you're an idiot. You're just a moron. Hey there, Greg. But you're not supposed to say that because it's too mean. No, it's the truth. And nothing but the truth. If you think the earth is flat, you're a moron. When did it flat earth crap start? Because they gave morons a platform. And because we have to be not mean, instead of just saying that person's a moron, don't listen to that fucking moron. Nah, you have your own opinion. You have your own thoughts. No, you're a moron. You don't need to breed. Maybe stop breathing or something, or at least maybe stop breathing for a while. Then maybe when your head pops like a zit, and it grows back, then maybe some brain cells will wake up from their hibernation. But don't breed. Please. Yeah, people already talked about the, the armor and rust general. People already mentioned it. People were stupid then, people are stupid now. It's just now they have more of a voice because of social media. At least back then they were stupid in their own homes. Yeah, that's why we have pictures from space 
where you see the curve of the earth and the curve of the stuff. My God. <sighs> but people are just too stupid. Too dumb. For some reason, Gary Blows is Justin Bieber's a douche. I don't know where Justin Bieber came from, but okay. <laughs> and for some reason, someone goes, do you think Tony Hawk knows karate? I don't know where that came from, but okay as well. The picture is flat. Yeah, most pictures are flat. I'll give you that. Most pictures are flat. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about the Civil War movie. I saw that. It's called Red Dawn. No, I don't. Conan films are 4K. No, I'm not. Have iTunes dropped sharply while I was away? Apparently, yes, they have. Take care, Fadi. I barely remember the band Sparks. Yeah, well... Taylor Swift is flat. I'll take your word for it. Daniel Rolf. I don't know who that is. Caleb below there. I don't mind Red Letter Media. IGN is way worse. Hey, Neil Punk. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I know I'm. You're like, what are you doing? I'm just reading the the comments from people. A Murphy hasn't made anything good in a while, except that Dolomite's my name movie. I guess the Dracula one would be Neil Punk. Yes, Mekai, I heard I, I read your comment. You, you don't have to post it twice. I, I read it. Yeah, IGN's bullshit. No one takes that seriously anyway, IGN. So why are people surprised? Hey, they here's the 85th shitty thing they've done. Big surprise. Oh, wow. Thanks, BA. Baracus. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. That's really kind of you, man. I've been watching a lot of your videos lately, enjoying your insight and humor. Even movies I'm not interested in, I'll watch your review. It's appreciated. I, th I appreciate that. Thank you. I mean, I'll never be the popular guy. I know the videos only get like, if I'm lucky, 100 views. If I'm lucky, three comments. But I mean, 
You guys, you know, I mean, the guys out there, they're nice to have to send these requests in. I'll keep doing it. And uh, we'll keep this going for as long as it does. So without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Without you guys, I wouldn't have kept going. So shout out to you guys. Shout out to people in the chat. Shout out to people who see this after the fat. Shout out to people who may never see this who are on the channel. Thank you so much. So again, you guys are solely the reason why I keep going with this. So I appreciate it. Because again, uh, not really Rat Hammer. Other than a lot of people shitting on me. Say, you suck and you're stupid. Why would IGN? They call Resident Evil 5 racist. Neil Punk, I choose Johnny Cash. Hey there, sweet persuade. Thank you, Rufus. Thank you, Gary. Sorry, again, I know I'm being sound. I'm just reading some of the comments on here. Uh, yeah, my first channel was 2006, my first one. The Sinful Dwarf. Nah, I missed that one. You have upcoming AEW show on Wednesday? Well, I mean... I'm sure there'll be a lot of empty seats, so it won't be hard for you to find a seat. Or maybe he didn't put you in the, the empty side of the arena, like most of them have been. I don't remember anything on Laser Mission. The 1999 Blair Witch Project, I love it. Saw it back in the day on VHS. The Game, my favorite David Fincher film. Always enjoyed the, the movie The Game. Guerrero, thank you. I appreciate the kind words. Greg uh, Brewer, thank you for the kind words. Uh, Dill Punt, no, no one has. Uh, who would I miss from old YouTube? Army 21. But that's sadly because he passed away. He's a guy that did video game reviews. Almost immediately after James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd. So Army 21 was one of the first video game reviewers on here. Then as years went on, he really made less and less videos. And then I think about two or three years ago now, uh, Sally found out he passed away. So probably one of the early people that inspired me to make videos. Because as much as I like Andrew Vodium nerd, which at that time was Andrew Nintendo nerd, it's really that guy, Army 21, as well as the guys from Dead Pit. I would say those two were like the ones that influenced me to start a channel in the first place. So I remember being really bummed when I found that out. Really fucking bummed. Really enough, it makes me bummed over again just thinking about it because just being a fan of the guy is like, man, I wish he could just <sighs> a lot more. Take care, Eric.
Rat Hammer, to be honest, that whole video, I didn't really give a shit what was happening during that video, Rat Hammer, about the Torah. That's just, uh, I, I, I had to be uh, honest, but I just did not give a fuck. To be honest. Not really where my interests lie. No, no one has ever recognized me in public. I'm not famous. Ever seen regular show? I don't know what that is. Spoony. He's still on YouTube every once in a blue moon. He does a live stream. That's really all he does. That's pretty much it. I think that's all you don't get out of it. He doesn't make videos anymore. He just once in a while does a live stream where he plays a video game and you just hear his voice. I don't care what Zach Snyder does. <clears throat> Taste their own John. I think Electra sucks balls. Neil Punk, I don't know about Will Smith. I mean, we, we talked about Will Smith like incessantly. Like, there's really not much else to say about Will Smith at this point. Uh, I've talked about the like incessantly, time and time again, man. I don't mean that ain't biased. Like, it's like how many times can I repeat the same thing over and over again about Will Smith? You know what I mean? It's like there's only so many times you could say it. <clears throat> I don't remember the details on Army 21. I don't remember... I don't, think, I don't think it was shared uh, at the time I heard it. I don't really follow Chris Stuckman, so I don't know when he started. Well, yeah, they're doing Bad Boys 4 right now with Tommy Hatcher. So, yes, they're filming Bad Boys 4 as we speak. Never played the Super Scope, but I, I know of it, but never had it. Never had the attachment. Hey there, Michael. But, uh, let me check. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Sure, but now it's just as a delay. It's like, where did people go? Where did he go? I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I always forget there's a delay on this, so I'm sure it'll be like, what is going on? Where did he go? Hit the wrong button, but yeah, I was just checking on something. Then I hit the wrong button. Oh, thank you, man. Just had to mention there's a new 4K special edition Aliens cut now. I'm watching it soon. I'm not. I'm not buying it. Fuck that shit. The DNR AI bullshit. Uh, I mean, good luck with that. If you like it, you like it. That's cool. But uh, I'm buying it. Fuck that shit. The AI altered waxy bullshit. 
I ain't watching it. I ain't buying it. I got my own from someone else that was a different someone else did. I'll watch that instead. Or my 35 millimeter one of aliens that have it downloaded. I'll watch that. Yeah, AI was, I mean, the one James Cameron is releasing, yeah, a, yeah AI, he, they use AI technology to smooth out the film and take the grain out. And I'm like, you know what, I'll just go watch this 35 millimeter of aliens they got here. On my computer, I'll watch that instead. Wow, you didn't know that, BA? Yeah, this is something like he did for True Lies and, and Aliens, is that uses AI to take all the grain out. So it's gonna look like a new it's gonna look like a film from 2024. Because that's what James Cameron wants. I think that stuff looks like shit. For aliens, because that's not what it was intended. And I'm sorry, I don't want to have scenes that look like CG or look like wax because it's. He wanted to clean it up that damn valley, which was not even cleaning up, it's smoothing everything out. So I refuse to watch that. I don't own it anyway. I'm not paying for it, I'm not buying it. So, just shit on it. Well, yeah, because I'm sure it's on there, BA, because it came out on 4K recently. If you want to hear some funny bits, go on the Blu-ray.com form and read the back to forth post that people have on it. <laughs> the 4K aliens. Yeah, people defending it because they love everything, and yet people, you know, giving their opinion. Sweet Persuade, have you seen AW shows? 80% of them have parts of the stadium that are completely empty. Because the show sucks. And people know it sucks. Because wrestling sucks nowadays. Which is why I don't watch it. So fuck AEW. I don't give a shit about WWE either. But fuck AEW. It sucks. That's why I don't watch it. I don't want to watch 85 spot fests and no selling. I do this move and this move and this move and I get right back up and I kill you and I break your neck and I stab you and I shoot you and then you get back up and then I do a 360 power driver and a 920 hurricanrana and then you get right back up and then nothing happened. Like Will Osprey or whatever the hell his name is. Do this, do this, do this, do this. Kenny Olivier, Kenny Omega. It's like, what's that? I'm going to shoot you, I'm going to stab you, I'm going to cut your head off, and you're still not going to sell it. Because no one knows how to tell a story. No one knows wrestling. It's like a movie. If you someone gets punched and then they don't do anything, you know what it is? It's the 1995 Mortal Kombat when Johnny Cage goes, this is where you fall down. And then the guys go, oh yeah. The Johnny Cage gets pissed. Just like I get pissed. Because it doesn't work in your illusion when they're not doing the job. I 
But I guess that's just me. So with that said, I'll end it here. It's about two hours. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine playthrough will be coming in the future. Did someone uh, sent a generous request for that? More movie reviews, more random videos. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Take care and uh, peace out. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.